Hey, what do you say my fellow weekend warriors? Today we're making up some smoked pork and beans and we're gonna put it inside of these acorn squash. I'm using my pellet smoker today, but you could use any kind of smoker. All we care about is 250 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what the smoker set to. So 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Use a nice light smoke. So I'm using some fruit wood today. Apple or cherry would be good. And I'm using some leftover pulled pork that I made back in June. It was really good. I'll put an info card above if you want to see how I made it. And then I'm also going to use a can of baked beans. This is bushes, but you could use your favorite or homemade. It doesn't really matter. We're trying to keep this simple. And this can make a great side dish. It can make a great dinner on its own, depending on your appetite. And hey, if you're new here, my name's Mike. I'm all about cooking outside. I love firing up one of my smokers on the weekend. It's super relaxing. We try nice, easy recipes that anybody can follow. And hey, if you're into that, hit that subscribe button and let's get into these smoked pork and beans inside of the acorn squash. And to get started, we need to doctor up these beans a little bit. They are really good. They've got uh, maple syrup. They've got some bacon in them already, uh, but we're just gonna doctor it up a little bit. So right here is about a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm using up a little bit of leftover onion. This is red onion that I've diced up pretty small. Just do the best you can with it. We'll add that to the pot. I guess it would help if I remember to turn it on. So let me turn it on. There we go, now we're cooking. So what we're gonna do is uh, saute these onions. The heat is gonna bring out the natural sweetness, savoriness, which is gonna go great in our beans. So we'll let this go for about five minutes. All right, those onions are looking good. One clove of garlic that I have peeled and I'm gonna put into my garlic press and we'll squeeze this in. Just scrape it off with a spoon. Mix this in, we don't wanna burn the garlic. It's just gonna take about a minute to cook that. So give it a stir. And now I'm gonna turn this heat down to about medium. And now we're gonna add about a tablespoon of my homemade barbecue sauce. It's got a real nice smoke profile to it with some chipotle pepper hot sauce. I'll leave a link to that above. This is gonna give these beans a little bit of body. And then in goes our can of Bush's baked beans. Like I said, it's already got the bacon and a lot of other good flavors. Scoop those out. And now we'll make sure we mix this, make sure all the onions and stuff get down in there. And we're just gonna start to slowly heat this, probably for the next 10 minutes while we cut up our squash. So let's let this heat up a little bit and cut the squash. It's the great thing about this time of year, the squash becomes available. They're easy to cut. What we wanna do is cut them down the middle Get yourself a good knife, be careful. I just kind of start in the middle and push down and then I can come and let the knife do the work. Just kind of work it down like that and then finish it off right here. Might have to give it a little pound just to get through that stem. And then once you get them cut in half, just take a spoon and go ahead and scrape out the seeds. It's up to you if you want to keep them for something. Maybe you want to grow your own squash, I don't know. But uh, scoop them out. Okay, then you get these nice little cups. I'm gonna do that to these other ones real quick. And now that they're all cut open, I like to season them with something. Salt and pepper would be fine. I'm using some uh, Heath Riles garlic jalapeno. And just very lightly, you don't need a lot coat them. So we'll do that to these. And now here is my leftover smoked pulled pork. Just gonna cut this bag open. And I put it in in big pieces because you never know how you're gonna use it when you're freezing it. So I'm gonna go with about a half a pound to start. And then I'm gonna give it a little chop with my knife, get some bite-sized pieces. All right, 
once you get it how you like it let's get it over into the beans and then just a little tip don't put them in the smoker right on the rack what's going to happen is they're going to get cooked and really soft then you're going to go to try and take them out with some tongs or with some gloves on and you're going to squish them and everything's going to come out so put them on a baking sheet like i'm going to do here this will help with the cleanup too and then just start spooning in your mixture so we're going to get those nice pork and beans in there this is going to be awesome all right we're good i like to leave a little bit of a rim let some smoke get on that squash and we've got plenty left over so you could probably do four more of these but we like to save a little bit because what's going to happen, people are going to eat. They're going to eat through all the beans. There'll be a little bit of squash left. Then you got a little bit of extra to give them. So let's just get these right in the smoker real fast. Again, the smoker set to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to do this for about an hour and a half to two hours. However long it takes for the squash to get nice and smushy and it's cooked. So let's get it in here. We're going to go right here. As usual, I like to cook right about the center rack, right next to the latch. I do have water in the pan. That's what the manufacturer of the smoker recommends. That's why I do it most of the time. Let's get this door closed, and we'll be back when these are ready to pull out and eat. All right, warriors, our smoked pork and beans inside of these acorn squash is done. It took about two and a half to three hours for these to get nice and tender. Your cooking time may vary, but you'll see here, they look really good. They took on a good amount of smoke. And all I wanna do now is just dig into one of these. Like I said, great side dish or a standalone meal. Let's dig in and take a bite. I love these recipes, so simple. You could throw something together that's gonna to be unique and taste really good. There's a nice little crust on top of these from the uh, dry air and smoke. And then you get down into the goodies. So we got some squash, the beans, the pork. My mouth is drooling, I gotta try this. It's gonna be so good and you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button right there. Definitely check out one of these two videos right there and I'll see you over there. Mmm, that's good. It's got a nice spicy bite to it from that barbecue sauce. Mmm.